guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. For those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. Come say hello in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. This is Leo. Yes, he says hello. He's a Gemini. <laughs> Very vocal. Ooh, big stretch. All right, I am pulling from <laughs> Healing Waters to activate the reading. Leo, do you want to pull the card? You did it last time. It was a good card. Here you go. Want to pick a card? Oh, this one. Planetary Wave. Soul mission, trust the inner call, soul team. Planetary wave, trust the inner call. I like that. Oof. Feels a little high priestess. Okay, so what I'm doing, and yeah, I pulled this soul mission. I also pulled from this deck because we are right now at the uh, first quarter moon and we're moving toward the full moon in Pisces, hence healing waters and the new moon in Virgo is the healing part. Um, and we're moving toward a lunar eclipse, mm -hmm. which is um, created by the south node of the moon and the south node is about the past, right? So that's what we need to release. So lots of stuff may be coming up, guys, just so you know, um, for release. And so I'm trying to combine a little emotional healing <laughs> into this series of readings. So I'm doing the soul contract tarot spread. Leo, you're, you're kind of blocking my, 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 my spread spot. Though I hate to disrupt your, you look like you're in Zen mode. Okay. I can always move it over. All right. So this is a little different than my normal spreads. I'll pull the cards. I'll let you know what they're about. We'll go back through and clarify. The nature of your karmic soul contract, three of pentacles. So it is about cooperation, co-creation, kind of being on the same page. And um, your main lesson here though, interesting, is um, maybe getting some clarity about a decision with regard to this soul contract. Are, are, you, are you on the same page? Are you invested? Yeah. Okay, something you're already aware of, King of Swords. This person um, could be someone who um, mm, possibly a good communicator, but maybe doesn't give you a lot to work with. And so that may be why you have some decisions to make um in what shadow work you need to do <laughs> temperance i love this for you guys yeah temperance is a little bit about go with the flow um it is of the higher octave of sagittarian energy so it is about the the spiritual wisdom that says you know all energies come into flow and balance so that's why the go with the flow um it's a patience card Neil, I'm going to pull another card here. Here's past healing that you've already accomplished. Ten of Wands. So you've already experienced something, perhaps in this connection, but if not in another connection, that, that felt so overwhelmingly difficult and challenging. Bye. Thanks for coming to play. Um, but but you successfully unburdened yourself. You, you successfully were able to kind of offload the negative karma and get the relief. So that is very positive. Now the final step on the healing journey here that would signal that you're ready to cut cords if that's what needs to be done in this connection or 
that you are completing part of the soul contract and are ready to take the step to the next level of the contract, wow. Whew. So the final step of the healing journey is kind of, um, I, I'm like, I just got a massive visual <laughs> of like a whip being cracked and it's sort of like dominating the ego, right? This is egoic fear and resistance that kind of tries to keep us small. So it feels to me like it's just devil energy in this particular part of the reading is just coming in as that, that part of us that, you know, tends to be on autopilot. It's reactive instead of proactive. It's um, where we go whenever we're not, when we're, when we're not quieting all the external noises, um, we tend to allow that little voice to kind of gnaw at us. Um, so you'll know, you, you know, when you crack the whip and get this part of yourself in line so it doesn't dominate, that will be the signal that, um, you're ready to either cut the cord here or you're taking it to the next level of this particular soul contract. Very interesting. Okay, so let's get some clarity. Three of, three of pentacles, two of swords. Three of pentacles again. Knight of swords. All right. So your main lesson with that two of swords is talking about right it's it's an inner search for like it's an important decision you have to make and for some of you it may be a crossroads moment but for most of you it's going to be about like um can we work things out is that what i want what do i need to know do i have all the information is this person being honest, right? Because they don't say a whole lot. So the main lesson is about what's true for you. What's the meaning and the purpose of this decision you're gonna make and how best should I proceed? So it is about quieting all the noise, not listening to that small fragile ego that wants to, well, actually the loud ego that wants to keep you small and really taking stock here about this connection. Let me hold it up so you can see it. Because it's like, are we really on the same page? Can we work through this? Knight of Swords, you know, the Knight of Swords can be clearing up a misunderstanding, making sure you are understood or that you understand someone else's intentions what are we agreeing to <laughs> the three of pentacles can be a, a card of friendship you know the i scratch your back you scratch mine we're here to help each other out um, we all play a role um, but it's also about co-creating something what what are we building here what are we creating here and it feels to me like Part of your lesson is about being sure you know what's true for you, what, what, what it is you see as the agreement or the, you know, the investment. Um, and if there's something that isn't super clear, that hasn't been articulated, getting to that point and then can we work through this, right? Is this something that I, I can work with? Very interesting. I like it. Okay, King of Swords, what you're already aware of. Hmm. Yeah, this person's like, you know, like a person of mystery they, they don't give you a lot to work with and that's why this is difficult um and and you do have a lot of fears and around it and apprehensions because you're not really sure what they're thinking which is part of the agenda of the king of swords 
right? Less is more. This is the ultimate strategist of the tarot. And the strategist doesn't give away their plan. That's why they're the strategist. Um, but it's about overcoming that, right? The, what you already know is you've got some ugh, angst around it that, that you might need to overcome. Underneath is a wheel of fortune. And so there's this aspect of, I, I kind of feel like this is a good thing. I feel like we're meant to be. I get this, I get this set. I'm, I'm afraid. <coughs> I'm afraid. I'm not sure I can trust it, but I have this feeling that we're meant to be. So this is like, you're aware, but there's something here that you kind of need to sort of gather up your strength, your courage, and your confidence and like try to, try to, you know, Try to outrun your, your fears here. Not let them dominate, not let them lead. I like temperance for you and your shadow work. And while I'm trying to gather up my strength and my courage and my confidence, I'm just gonna be chill and go with the flow. Yeah. Easier said than done, nine yes. Oh, look at this. So the shadow work involves, right, waiting it out. Things get dicey. Things get high pressured and maybe stressful and a little exhausting because you got to persevere and you kind of got to be chill while you do it. This is the shadow work for you. But we have here the Knight of Wands and underneath the Knight of Cups. It seems to me that you know, in the shadow work is like, is there going to be a payoff? Almost, you know, part of the shadow work is like, you know, I'll persevere, you know, but I, this is what I want. Like, whoa, whoa. because temperance is about self-control and restraint. The Knight of Wands has no self-control or restraint. The Knight of Cups does and moves slow, more slowly, more moderately. Not as slow as the Knight of Pentacles, but yeah. So I'm seeing here like there's the love and the passion and uh, yeah, I want, I want to stick it out. I want to stay in there, but you know, I don't know if I can. It's taking so long and yeah, that's where your shadow work is, is on staying chill, going with the flow, exercising self-control and restraint, persevering. And right, this, this part of the plan is not in your hands. It will all unfold in divine time. And I think you have a sense that you're aware of that. So your shadow work is saying, okay, now focus on that part of you that doesn't like to wait, <laughs> doesn't want to, you know, give over to that construct and then come up short. Let's see the past healing already accomplished. Oh, there it is. Right, Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. But you, you know, you you have evidence that you've been burdened before by waiting for something and all that heartache and all that right but but the queen of wands gets what she wants in the end so i have a feeling that you have the evidence here that you have already healed from having that exhaustion and that weight you know that weight on your back of being patient and you, you know, maybe you won, maybe you lost, but you healed from it. You're not still carrying that weight around. So think back, was it in this connection or was it in another connection, another experience where you were patient and maybe it paid off and you got what you wanted and maybe it didn't, but you healed from it.
think that's like my favorite part of the spread in almost every reading is there are the receipts think about it and now we have the final step i know this part crazy on the healing journey that signals you're either ready to cut the cords here or close out this particular part of the contract and step up to the next phase of this contract. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks like If the worst, if, if your worst fears were to come true, um, tower, five of pentacles, right? Th this is your biggest fear. So the devil's coming through is your fear. And so let's put those down because we know what that is. And we're talking about the final step on the healing journey. So what's your biggest fear? Everything falling down around you and being rejected and abandoned. Our king of swords here saying, nope, I don't want it, bye-bye. I waited for nothing, I hear it, I can hear you saying. See, I waited for nothing. I invested in something that wasn't even workable. So, okay, that happens. So what do you wanna do? Do you want to live in fear of it? Or do you want to just cut the cords now and be done with it? Or do you want to live in fear of it? Or do you want to say, yeah, that wouldn't be so bad because I've lived through it before and I healed then and I can heal now. If this is the worst it can get, right? Do you see yourself being able to resolve that? If the answer is no, then it stops here. That's the final step on the healing journey. This is unacceptable to me, I'm cutting the cords. Has, don't have to live in fear of it, you just have to say, I am identifying what it is I do not want, so I'm going to stop right here. But is it coming from fear or is it coming from a conscious choice? A conscious choice. That I do not think this is something that could be worked through. I don't care what they say. See, it's different. It has to be about something that's conscious choice, not something that's lorded over you, like you're a puppet on a string, okay? So I know it's a little, because the meaning of the position of the card here is so important. And so what you're really looking for is the healing journey through pretty much your biggest fear. But we don't want to do it from fear. We want to do it from conscious choice because that's the main lesson here. Are you dealing with someone who's invested in this connection? Do you feel you're on the same page? Do you feel if you're not on the same page that you could kind of get to the core issues and maybe work them through? If not, cut cords. If so, then overcome the fear. Consider that the wheel may be moving in your favor. Release yourself of the fear of the worst. Healing complete. Next level of the contract. So that's the purpose of this spread, is to kind of help you see where you are in this contract so you can make conscious decisions and choices and not act out from fear. 
and you're already almost there. Really, really interesting reading for you, Scorpio, or whoever you are watching. Whoo, powerful. Yes. Soul mission, trust the inner call. I love that part of it the most. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to take it to the extended. We're looking at this King of Swords. Uh, their perception of you, their feelings for you, their intentions toward you. Um, what are they getting from you? What does this? Per That's a really good question. What are they getting from you? Um, physical fulfillment, of course, their fulfillment level. And if you're not close proximity, then what you're looking at is chemistry, um, interest, you know, attraction. And where's the whole connection headed? So we'll look at that in the extended and the links are below. I said links because there's an option one, two, or three. So make sure when you click a link, you're reading what it is you're buying, okay? Um, and before I give you the astrology, if you've been enjoying my readings, if you like my style or if you got some confirmation or some great insight or awareness or... Um, maybe just found it really helpful or comforting on some level uh, and you haven't yet done so please do subscribe below that is my ask that is our energetic exchange i come here and do this for free and you click the button for free that says subscribe that's what we're doing okay the extend extendeds are optional all right and if you want a private reading i do offer them the the link is a little further down you scroll a little further this is the link will take you to that information okay here we go guys we have the knight of swords is gemini king of swords we're gonna go visit with him in a moment is um aquarius strength card is um leo the moon is pisces wheel of fortune is jupiter which rules sagittarius temperance is also sagittarius knight of wands is also sagittarius scorpio are you dealing with the sagittarius maybe knight of cups pisces we've got pisces and sag here all over this reading queen of wands is aries double hit of the devil is capricorn mm -hmm. and the um tower is mars which rules aries that's what i have for you i'm headed to the extended see you there in a second bye for now <laughs> 